Lauren Mathena picks up around her house after the mad dash of getting her four children off to school. So I have one high schooler, one middle schooler, and uh, two preschoolers. She says she's been talking to her kids about violence in schools since kindergarten. I'll never forget the day he came home from Fox and he was in, from Fox and he was in kindergarten, and he's like, I was like, so what do you do at school today? Well, we had to hide in the closet. Well, my teacher told us to be really quiet. He was only six, so he did not know what the significance of it was, but it completely caught me off guard. Earlier this month, she got a message about a threat at Dogwood Middle, her daughter's school. It was one of nearly a dozen threats that have impacted schools across the Commonwealth recently. An expletive came to mind, and then my thought was, well, I'm going to have to talk to my daughter about this now. Uh, and at least mention it so that she's prepared. The message, which came after the recent deadly school shooting in Georgia, explained the school would have increased security after receiving a threat. Principal Christopher Jacobs said, I want to reiterate that while additional security this a.m. may feel alarming, it's so that we can have a safe, focused, and learning-filled day. So as scary as it is, I would much rather get a message that, hey, as a precaution, we're keeping some kids home, uh, and we're going to have um, an expanded p uh, police presence at the school, then the opposite happen. Uh, nobody wants that news. Mathena says she worries about violence at her children's schools every day. I always try to make the last thing that I say to them positive um, so that at least I will have that memory and know that I made that effort. But experts say it's not only the parents feeling the strain from the potential of school violence. We are in unfortunately unprecedented times for the mental and emotional well-being of our young people. Rachel Dean, the CEO of Voices for Virginia's Children, says school threats disrupt learning. But it's also disruptive on a more personal level, on a mental health level for students to be exposed to these threats, to feel the natural anxiety that comes with that, and for families and parents to be worrying about how safe are our children when we send them off to school every day. Dean says every school division in the state has a threat assessment protocol that dictates how it handles these situations. So when there is a threat, uh, it's a multidisciplinary team bringing together educators and counselors and law enforcement to assess the threat. Um, and there's a timeline to do that. Uh, school divisions are also mandated to have their own emergency plans and communications planning that they can implement when there is something that is an urgent threat. And back at the Mathena home, Lauren says, although it's hard, she tries to get past her fears. I don't ever want the threat of school violence to become normal, but I think if we can push over that and then get to what should be the normal part of the day, that is how our family has chosen to deal with it. For VPM News, I'm Adrian Hoar McGibbon. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the VPM YouTube channel, hit the bell for notifications, and visit vpm.org for more in depth coverage.